All right, guys, welcome to the video. Today, I'm gonna be sharing with you guys how to take quarantine length hair, hair that hasn't been cut in a long time and create these beautiful face frame layers, this nice healthy shine to the hair. So we're gonna get started. The sectioning is pretty simple, straight down the center, and then I split the front and back. So really what I'm looking for, you can see the hairline right behind the ear. I follow that hairline all the way up to that mid crown area, and I do the same thing on the left hand side. And then we're just gonna start in through the back. So I comb everything back nice and tight, clip it away just keep everything separated it's really important to keep the front and the back separate uh, during this technique so then I go straight down the center back with a vertical parting comb everything over and then I just start taking nice horizontal partings across now what we're gonna be creating is a uh, nice blunt line in the back I'm gonna be using a point cutting technique though to keep it nice and soft so I want a one length cut to begin with but I don't want it to be too thick Christine's got pretty thick hair so I want to just go in and soften that line by using point cutting but still again we want it to look nice blunt and healthy so bringing everything down cutting it across we're gonna work our way all the way through the back bring everything down to that point and then we'll move into the sides I also want to point out as we're finishing up this uh, back section um, that I'm cutting everything at a basic square length so parallel to the back of the chair uh, just bringing everything back so what that's gonna do is gonna push a little bit of length towards the front but it gives me that nice solid baseline you can see it right there all right, so now we start working in the top and in the front. So now what we want to create is kind of a shape that opens up the face. So what I do is I take a diagonal forward parting from the part down to the hairline, and then I bring it over to me. Now I'm using, again, a nice point cut technique to soften the line, but keep it blunt, keep it full. So I bring everything over across to the opposite side of the chair. That's gonna give me that open face feel, layers, but it's also pushed length to the back so know that the shortest point is in, in the inside of my fingers the longest point is going back away from the face so I just keep bringing everything over to that stationary guide and cutting it Now know that the more you over direct this section, the longer it's going to get to the sides. Don't worry about the length and how those connect. We will be connecting those at the very end. So just keep in mind how long do you want those layers and how much weight do you wanna to push towards the back and how much weight do you wanna remove in the front and that's where you pull it around to. So now we're gonna do the same thing to the opposite side, working through diagonal forward partings, all the way through stationary guide, bring it to the opposite side of the chair and cut your short to long length. All right, so now that I got that all worked out, now I take a horizontal parting in the right side of the head and I'm gonna connect the back and the front. So I take a guideline from the back and I continue that line all the way across to the front. Now I'm taking a seat on a stool. I like when I'm cutting longer hair, I'm a little bit taller, so I like to sit down and cut the line. I can see it a little better. Um, that's a choice that you guys can make. You can pump up the chair nice and high if you want to as well, but I'm cutting a nice, again, blunt line through the bottom. The whole key part of this haircut guys is to create movement take off an, enough hair to make it look healthy uh, Christine hadn't had a haircut in quite a while so I wanted to go through and make sure that her hair looked nice and blunt and healthy but also had movement and uh, and then we also create that shine using the products in the blow dry as well so you know these are all key factors that go into creating a healthy hair look <laughs> We got the right side done, we go through and we do the same thing on our left side. All 
right, so that is the wet cut all finished up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in and put the product in, start my blow dry. I'm using Awapui Wild Ginger uh, Hydro Cream Whip. This is by Paul Mitchell. Uh, I work that through mid shaft to ends, uh, and then I'll work a little bit into the base, but I want to keep that product on the mid shaft to ends. Uh, and then I'll brush it through, and then I start my paddle brush work using my Ergo paddle brush. This is available on our online store, Shop FSE. Uh, and I'm using the Dyson blow dryer just to work through the hair, get a nice polish on it. Then I switched my Ergo round brush. This is the 53 uh, brush, I believe. Um, and I work through the hair that way, pulling everything out, polishing the hair. So that's really the key guys. Get that shine on there. Uh, the Ergo brush uses tourmaline bristles, which has a negative ion charge, which helps lay down the cuticle. It also helps blow dry the hair faster when you have a negative ion charge. So I work through the hair, uh, getting that work done. You can see that movement with the layers already, and then I'll go through and do some iron work at the end, but I wanna show you guys what it looks like, just kind of round brushed out, and then we'll go through and polish it with an iron to give you that end result. So I let out the front. Really what I did was I took a nice triangle section out of the front and then I'm gonna blow dry all of that straight up in the air to get max volume. And then the last section I blow dry forward towards the face, which will give me even more volume in the very front. So I'm really just uh, all about trying to get that volume up there and the shine. So you can see the layers popping through. Um, also, right in the front there, you can see all of that movement uh, in the layers. And now I'm gonna go through and show you guys a dry cutting technique in the back to detail and finalize the cut. So I take a horizontal section through the back, up, kind of lift up that crown area. I'll clip that away. And then that blunt cut that we did in the back, guys, there's no layering through the back yet. I'm gonna go in, use a texturizing scissor first, just pinching and cutting. What this is gonna do is give me soft, invisible layers. Now, um, you wanna make sure you don't go too high on the head with, unless you have a purpose for that. I'm just trying to create softness on the ends. And then I'm gonna do the same thing with a scissor uh, and go a little bit deeper in there, half closing the scissor and slide cutting through. That just softens, gives me a little bit of movement throughout the hair. It's great to cut the hair blunt, uh, especially if that's the look they're going for, but if you don't lighten it up, it's just gonna fall way too heavy. So I like to soften it just a little bit using those techniques, and then you get a little bit of movement. So now I finish it off with a wand iron. Uh, I did use a little bit of Awapui Wild Ginger Illuminating Shine Spray. Uh, just spray that through to add a little shine and polish to it. And now you can see all that movement, explosion of texture, layers all around the face. And then it's just nice and soft in the back. It's a really beautiful look. Uh, definitely a big transformation from that quarantine hair to this layer technique. And it's just super easy to do, guys. So hope, hopefully you can add this to your toolbox, use it in the salon. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Please share this video with your friends. Thanks for watching.